I've worked in different parts of the world like Wayne, uh, and I'm acutely aware that in different cultures, in different geographies, sustainability, insofar as it is understood, is very, under, very understood in different ways. And I would say education is not simply needed, and training, and support, and so on. And finance is not simply needed by younger people. It's going to be needed by all of us. And one of the fundamental challenges that we face in our societies, particularly across Europe, is the demographic shift, where older people are going to take up a bigger, play a bigger and bigger role, whether we like it or not, in our societies. And old people, with the greatest respect to any older people in the room, tend to be more conservative, they don't like a lot of change, and yet what we're talking about here is a lot of change, but they still vote, they're politically active, they have wealth, they have connections. And part of the question I think we now face is how do we mobilize those people? Well, if you look at the advertising campaigns in different parts of the world now, you, you might conclude it's all done, job done. I mean, sustainability delivered. Um, I don't think we've even begun to scratch the surface. Tester, it's amazing now how many CEOs, how many business leaders talking about the need for systemic change. They know what's coming at them. They know somebody's going to have to do this. They just hope it's not going to be uh, them right. so much. But impact, I think, is in, it's going to become the common currency, the lingua franca, in a way, uh, of business going forward. Uh, what's your position on sustainability? Something like 80% of CEOs said, we've already embedded it. The poor creatures were completely deluded. They didn't know what they were talking about, with the greatest respect, but nonetheless, it happens, unfortunately, to be uh, true. So we've really got to unpack uh, some of this, and I think that's part of the role of chief sustainability officers, to, to, to explain to people what they've actually committed themselves to. Then I'm often asked, if I, if I was given you know, $100 for every t time I've been asked for uh, an answer to the question, are you optimistic or are you pessimistic? I'd at least be a billionaire uh, by now. The answer is, I was born an optimist. You, can't, you wouldn't be able to do what people like me have done for a very long time without believing in progress, that, that, that real progress uh, was possible.